Okay, in this video, I am going to just show a basic attempt at doing one of these uh, reinforcing mounting plates. I've done one, two, three, I've done four of them out of six. Um, so I'm not doing too bad. They've been a bit more tricky than I thought they were going to be. But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring you down. I'll show you one of the back curved ones in the arch and then we go from there for like a step-by-step -step type of thing okay so this is it so uh, that's a three mil steel plate welded all the way around it's you might not be able to see it's a bit difficult to uh, to bend that steel because it curves around here and it's slightly curved inwards as well makes it real a real fiddle but i found doing that um get this curve bent nice and then um get it to fit roughly where you want it then put the two mounting bolts in massive washers crank it up really nice and tight and it will form to most of that shape and then i uh, also used a heat gun I mean, if you've got oxy set, then even better. Get it nice and hot and then really shrink that in. But it, it fits pretty good. I'm happy with it. All the bolts go through. As I say, I've done the other side. Um, the ones that I thought were going to be easier were a lot more difficult. Let's show you what I'm uh, on about here. Right, I know I'm going to get some stick now because I've got the... Uh, the over seals on this or the extended seals whatever you want to call them um, but either way this ridge here is lining up exactly where the blooming bolts come through so you'd think it would be simple simple enough but it's not so what I did on the other side ran the grinder down this ridge that gives you enough gap. I did do twice, I think, along there. Made the gap a little bit bigger than I'd like, then weld that back up. You hammer it down, hammer it down flat, and then you can weld that all back together, and then you get a fairly flat plate in here. So let's start the process. So this is what I was on about little slot cut in to a perfectly good seal I'm just going to heat that up with a hot air gun just to make it a little bit easier to hammer down flat and then I'll weld it back together and then we've got a good base to go from then I didn't take uh, quite enough out of this side because I took a bit too much out of the other side so I was a bit more cautious with this side you can see it's got it quite nice and flat got a nice little gap there to weld up now i can grind it down hopefully it'll be nice and flush i mean this panel is slightly curved around anyway so it just it just helps because trying to bend uh, that three mil steel is is uh, very very difficult so if you can get this as flat as possible it's worth taking the time to do it now rather than tack welding on a little bit on the three mil steels of this and then you'll just end up pulling the sill off or pulling it to bits so this is what you end up with pigeon shit everywhere uh i, I just couldn't couldn't get my settings right tonight for some reason don't know why did a couple of good ones and the rest were turd so we grind it back and see what we're left with really and that's what we're left with after we've de pigeon shitted it and it's all right so now we'll go ahead make a template all right so i'll put some green painters tape over this plate i'm going to peel that off stick it on the car and then hopefully be able to mark out it a bit more easily where the holes are i've really struggled on the other side so i've decided to go with this idea it's worked an absolute treat. Now all we've got to do is stick that back on, get it nice and square on the on the steel, and centre punch them holes, and uh, get drilling. 
saved a hell of a lot of time compared to the other side. Uh, On. So the sticky tape trick could save you hours of faff. Now, just got to whip it off again. Got to take out a tiny little bit off of here, off the back, just to square it up a little bit better so it sits flat on this edge here. And then grind these edges down, put a little angle on these. I found that uh, you can weld it a lot better when you've got a bit of an angle on this 3mm. So that's that little chamfer I was talking about. Just really helped me to uh, to weld a lot better and a lot neater on the uh, other ones that I did. So it's, it is basically ready to weld now. It's all been treated on the underside. Some high temp uh, zinc primer. And that's it. Raw. Welded on. As with all my welding, some of it is nice. Some of it is an absolute turd. So we get that cleaned up with the grinder which shouldn't take too long and it'll be ready for primer and that's another one down and then one to go this is what I'm left with I think it looks really good just sort of filled in the pinholes with weld give it another clean up any that you miss fill it back in I think it's worth the extra effort because it looks really smart and that's you know without any seam sealer or anything so put some zinc primer on it now it should look real good let me know what you think in the comments as well that's the finished article Primer's still a little bit wet in some places, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I might do another little video as well of this front one. I will show you what I'm on about. So for me, the, the front one's probably the most challenging one of all because you've got this little box here that needs cutting off to get a big enough a uh, big enough plate in there to spread the load I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I've been getting a lot out of um, making these bits you can see um, where I started and literally it's got better and better and better on each one so I'm quite happy with where they're going now um, yeah again I might do a little video of that one at the front because it's real fiddle and someone it might you know it might help someone else out um, and that one probably one of the easier ones to do because it's fairly flat and that one has probably taken me if you said three or four hours probably something like that we're cutting the metal probably maybe yeah four hours ish which realistically for me is a week because I'm only out here an hour a night so you can just get to grips with the sort of time scale that this is taking <laughs> okay cool i'll see you next time